California over the threat of gang violence. A prominent cartel leader was arrested in Baja earlier this month, and the travel advisory states that there is potential for confrontations between criminal organizations and Mexican security forces when it comes to gang assassinations and territorial disputes. The embassy warns this can result in bystanders being hurt or killed. Officials say if you must travel, keep a low profile, be aware of your surroundings, and expect heightened police presence. World leaders are responding to the shooting death of Japan's former prime minister. Fox's Tony J. Powers has this story. There's worldwide reaction to the assassination of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe just hours after he was shot during a campaign stop for his party. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, speaking for the G20 in Indonesia, called Abe's death shocking and profoundly disturbing. World leaders from France, Ukraine, India, South Korea, and more have posted their reactions to Abe's death as well. Abe was killed when a gunman who is now in custody opened fire just minutes into his speech at a train station in Nara. The website for the U.S. Congress was struck by a hacking attack last night. Fox's Evan Brown reports. Congress.gov went offline for a short time Thursday night and a pro-Russian hacking group is claiming they did that. The group is known as KillNet and they're known for DDoS or denial of service attacks on websites that make them inaccessible to regular users. It took less than an hour for the site to come back online. The individual websites for the House of Representatives and the Senate seem to have been unaffected. Republican legislators continue to criticize the Biden administration over today's high gas prices. Indiana Representative Jim Banks. This administration is intentionally driving up gas prices to try to force people to buy electric cars instead of cars that use gasoline. In the the process, they're causing a desperate situation for American families. I'm getting more phone calls than I've ever gotten before from people who are just desperate. They don't know how they're going to make ends meet. But at the same time, they depleted, the Biden administration depleted our uh, reserves by giving uh, millions of gallons of oil uh, and gas to our biggest adversary in, in China. Today's national average for a gallon of regular is $4.72. That is down from last week and last month, but drivers were paying a little over 3 bucks a gallon at this time last year. The federal government says a better than expected 372,000 jobs were added in June. Notable job gains occurred in professional and business services, leisure and hospitality, and health care. Meanwhile, employment in manufacturing has returned to levels not seen since February of 2020. In final news, a snail problem in the state of Florida. Here's Fox's Steve Rappaport. A warning from the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services to Pasco County. Watch out for giant African land snails. They can cause meningitis in humans because they carry a rare rat lungworm. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says people can get the disease from eating infected snails or by eating some fruits or vegetables that weren't washed good enough that also contain the snails. Symptoms of the meningitis can be vomiting, nausea, stiff neck, and severe headaches. Officials can use a special pesticide to control snails and it's approved for many crops, citrus orchards, and berry and banana plants, as well as in limited residential areas. That's all our time for now. Find more news on AFN.net. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to Revival Radio KNVBC, broadcast from the campus of Golden State Baptist College in Santa Clara, California.